Marin Boone now about the outcome of the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, when I asked Jordan Montgomery why he, he thought he struggled so much this afternoon, he said he wasn't quite sure. From your vantage point, why do you think he struggled? A little hard time putting some guys away. Um, you know, they did a good job with two strikes. I thought they had some some good at bats um, off them. Uh, you know, I think a couple times he when he's trying to show the fastball late in the count with two strikes, probably didn't get it where he wanted to and made a couple mistakes with that. Um, in, in trying to go back soft, um, maybe not as real good swing and miss secondary stuff today. Um, and I thought they did a good job of, of sitting on it in some situations and, and putting some good swings and, and, and they, you know, all day, they did a really good job with, with two strikes, um, and with two outs, they got some big two out hits and, uh, but I think it was just a little bit of that, just having a hard time putting guys away and getting to that, that final situation there. He had mentioned the fact that he was getting ahead of a lot of hitters. Is that just frustrating to watch when you have a guy that seems as though he should be able to get out of out of it and That's he's not able to, to perform with a put-away pitch? Yeah, I mean, you know, it does happen, though. I mean, you know, they have good hitters over there capable of, and, and in some cases, you got to tip your cap. You know, they, they, I thought, put some good swings in situations. Franco, you know, had some good swings. Um you know, Galvis did a good job with two strikes of putting a good swing. You know, they had some soft contact go against them for some hits that set them up to get back in the game. Um, yeah, but overall, just, you know, not quite his best swing and miss secondary stuff when he did have some count leverage. Can you go next to Aaron, you keep winning series. Uh, there's been a number of these series where you you won in the final game with an opportunity to sweep and 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 couldn't. Uh, what what do you make of that? I mean, is that you know is that a carrot? Thing? Yeah, I mean that's that's baseball. They they you know put it on us a little bit and with a lot of big at bats and a lot of two out at bats today. You know we go out and get four in that first inning and obviously you feel good about that, but just weren't able to add on and and they chipped away. And I mean that's um, I thought we came out with the with a good focus today and. It, you know, just couldn't close it down. And another uh, big day for Judge. We're pretty much at the quarter mark of the season here. What, what do you make of what he's done so far? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's just been this last week. I feel like he's just really, really controlling the strike zone so well. And, and you know, that discipline is getting him into some good situations. And when he does get a pitch right now, you know, it's usually he's put hit it over the fence. So um feel like he's he's settling into the season in a really good way and, and love where he's at, obviously. Hi, sir. Still feel like there's even more in there for him though. Like I mean that's the scary part. So it, but it's definitely good to see him, you know, having these at bats over and over again now. You go next to Eric Bowen. Aaron, how concerning is it for you to see Gary take the number of balls off the mask that he took in the early going, particularly in the, I think it was the third inning? Yeah. Um, yeah. A couple, couple of good shots there. Um, you know, I think with Gary, that, that the hockey goalie mass has been something that's been real good for him because he usually that withstands a lot. Cause I, you know, I jump up a, you know, seems like every few games when you, and, and he's, I, I don't even think he's he's been affected by him. So um, that's a good thing. But the, that's always a scary thing, especially, you know, sitting where I am watching that when it when a good shot goes off a mask, you always obviously kind of hold your breath there and, and just hope for the best. But I think, you know, some of the technology beside, behind some of the qu equipments, um, you know, helping things out a lot. Dan Martin, please unmute. Aaron was uh was Frazier okay after that dive in uh in right field? Yeah, yeah, his sunglasses fell off and kind of right. rolled over. So yeah, he was fine. It was obviously a great play. Um, you know, I I'm I got a I told him I had a perfect angle of you know, the the ball kind of slicing away and and him and my peripheral closing in on it. I didn't think he was gonna be able to get there and he needed every bit of that layout. It was really, really good play in that spot. And it looked like Urshela was uh, wasn't moving down the line great on that second double play that he didn't do any any anything going on else with his knee. No, he, he's he's good. I mean, Gio, Gio's like that a lot. 
every year. I mean, he'll, he'll, he kind of moves around like that sometimes. So, uh, obviously, you know, with, with his knee from last week and obviously giving him a day, the first day in here, it's something that we'll obviously monitor closely and, you know, he's getting the necessary treatment and, um, and, you know, I'll check in with them here after, but not something I'm overly concerned about. And do you, do you anticipate having Odor tomorrow when you get to Texas? I don't know about tomorrow, but I, I do feel good about um, that he's going to be in play for us at some point in Texas. Whether that's tomorrow, possibly Tuesday, uh, we'll just have to see. But he had another good day today. Yeah. We go next to Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Aaron. What are you seeing lately from Gary Sanchez at the plate? I'm really excited. Um, you know, I, in a lot of ways, I, I feel like this is the best. And going back now a week, and, and he's actually, you know, he's gotten results. He's walking. Obviously, he's hit a couple home runs. He's gotten some hits. But he's also hitting some tough luck. And and I just feel like starting to win a lot of pitches. And um, and I feel like, you know, he, he's made a little adjustment, obviously, with, you know, quieting down the leg kick and everything. And I feel like it's putting him in a really good position to make great swing decisions, to be on time. And I feel like, you know, I feel like in a lot of ways, this is the, he's in the best place right now that he's been in a long, long time. And uh, I'm excited about, you know, what potentially lies ahead for him with what we're seeing right now. And Aaron, could you give us a, uh, an evaluation of the first game for Lamar? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, with Zimmerman, I think he had him out in front of some change-ups um, where he put the ball on the ground um, and then, pro you know, had a good at work, a good at bat against him. I think it might have been his last time. Got to 3-2 and probably expanded a little up and away. But, um, you know, I thought competitive at bats just, you know, couldn't quite finish finish the at bats off. And obviously not a lot of, not, not a lot of action in the field today. So, uh, you know. It's good to have him. He's a pro, and I feel like he'll he'll give us some competitive bats against some lefties, and 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 bring bring something on the defensive side also. We can go next to Dave Lennon. Hey, Aaron. I, I don't know what the stat is on it, but I, I assume that you guys haven't lost many games. You hit three home runs in. I mean, that that's kind of the the, the forte for you. With the guys that you've missed this past week being out, pretty big pieces. Are you are you encouraging the fact that at least some other guys in the offense are going to are kind of cranking up a bit? I mean, Judge is carrying a lot of it as well, but yeah, I mean, obviously Judge is swinging it really well, and and you know, we're yeah we're getting there. We're you know they're they're grinding away. We're we're starting to see you know better at bats. Again, I I go back a few weeks now, and it's been better. Um, we haven't broken through all the way where we're all clicking quite yet. And we're just going to keep working to get to that point and get to that point of where we know we're capable of. Thank you. Can you take a final question from Meredith? Aaron, what did Giancarlo Stanton do today? And do you expect to have him tomorrow? We'll see. I, I haven't, I haven't gotten the report yet on, you know, I know he moved around. I know he took some swings, uh, moved around the weight room, obviously a day game. We weren't out on the field and stuff. So, uh, we'll see where he's at and, and, you know, make an evaluation going into tomorrow.